One bright sunny day, Bobo and Coco were sitting alongside a beautiful lake. Coco asked, Bobo, do you ever wonder what's under the lake? I wish I could swim with the ducks and the turtles and explore the world under this lake with the fishes and the crabs. But I can't swim. Bobo said, Don't you feel sad, Coco? It's possible. Coco asked, But how? Bobo said, Let me tell you a story. Remember we did an experiment in the class about sink, float and dissolve? Fill the bowl with water. Add the sponge piece in the water. Open the paper clips and straighten them. Attach the clips to the sponge piece. Put the sponge piece with clips in the water. Add some salt in water and mix it. Continue mixing salt in water till the sponge piece with clip starts to float again. Coco, in awe of what he heard, asked, This is awesome! How adding salt to the water made you all float? Bobo replied, It changed the density of water. Now let's understand density. What is density? It is something which makes huge ships float on water and small marbles sink in water. The ship floats because its density is less than water and marble sinks because its density is more than water. Density tells us which object is heavier and which is lighter if same amount of objects are taken. For example, cotton is less dense than marbles. This means if we take one glass full of marbles and the same glass full of cotton, then the cotton will weigh less. Density of water can be changed by dissolving things like salt and sugar. When the density of water increases enough, some sinking objects like marble start to float. This is also the reason why swimmers find it much easier to swim in seawater 
than in fresh water rivers and lakes. Do you know the Dead Sea located on the border between Israel and Jordan is almost nine times as salty as the ocean. Such salty water allows people to float in the Dead Sea without any effort. Coco said, Hey, we can put salt in this lake and people like me can swim. Bobo said, Yes, we can. But we don't need to waste so much salt for it. Instead, we can use a simple rubber tube to float. Bobo wants to make the eraser float in the water. Help him by adding any of the following. Sugar, pebbles, soil. Do you know which symbol is used to represent density? Ohm, infinity, rho. Help Bobo choose the pond to sail. Arrange the liquids in ascending order based on their density. Mission Save oceans, save lives. Save the ocean and lives by dragging the pollutants out of the sea and put them in the right category boxes of sink, float 